What's up, guys? DTMP Drama Alert here. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about... I'm going to start doing these more often. I, I'm a big fan of Steven Crowder. Uh, if you are not watching Louder with Crowder, you probably ought to go find him on YouTube. Amazing, amazing man. And he gets some pretty good discussions going, and I think he should be honored for that. Because... Even though he normally doesn't agree with whoever he's talking to, he doesn't get really pissed off with them. He lets them get their point across, and he gets his point across. And that's pretty damn amazing. And I thought, you know what? I can do some of these uh, change my mind things, but a little bit differently. Like, I'm not going to go to a, a school and get a bunch of kids pissed off and have them to change my mind. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to tell you my opinion on whatever I'm talking about. And then in the comment section below, you guys can comment. And then I will do a part two to this, or maybe even a part three, depending on how many comments there are, of you guys' opinion of what I am talking about. What I am uh, trying to get you to see if you can change my mind about. And this one is on gun control. Gun control, guys. Um, everybody is saying that we should now ban guns in the United States. In pretty much the world. Everybody wants to ban guns. And uh, I want to just think you to think about this, okay? Think about this. Seriously think. All these places where guns are happening and where these mass shootings are happening are places that there are no guns. So, schools, churches, uh, movie theaters, uh, at, uh, did, I'm pretty sure one happened at, uh, an Area Grande concert. Like, these are places that are gun-free zones. And those are the places that these mass murderers are going to and shooting at people. And just think. Um, it's just my opinion, though. But just think if you... One of one of the one person in each of those shootings, there was somebody in that crowd that knew how to shoot a gun, had it in his, hand, in his holster on his side, and was able to take out whoever it was shooting. Yes, you're, there's a possibility that a couple people might have got shot before the guy that had the gun in the building would have been able to get a shot off. There's a possibility of that. But lives would have been saved in every single case. Every single case. Because there would have been somebody there to defend the people that had no defense. That's right. It's hard to defend against a gun if you have nothing to defend with. So if there would have been somebody there with a gun, they would have been able to defend or possibly take out the shooter. And I just think that anybody that thinks that we should ban guns from people, they don't think really when they th say that. And the reason, I, another reason why I say that is for, let's say you do. You take all the guns from all people that are doing nothing wrong, uh, you take guns from all of those people in the United States, every one of them. Do you really think a criminal or somebody that wants to commit a crime ain't going to go to the black market and get a gun? If you think that, you seriously got some freaking problems in your head. You seriously got some problems because Believe me, guns will always, always be on the black market. Always. And you take all the guns away from people like me, you, Bob, Fred, George, Sally. You take guns from those people. Yeah, they don't have no way to defend themselves when a criminal gets a gun. And believe me, they're going to get guns. And there ain't going to be nothing to stop that. It's going to happen. And so, yeah, I'd rather... 5 million people carry guns on their in their holster on their belt than 5 million people not 
carry guns on their holster on their belt. And I think gun-free zones are a stupid, horrible idea. Horrible. There should be at least one person. And yes, you can... <clears throat> how about you do gun-free zones? I'm, I'm with one individual that has a gun. Like you have a guard at all gun-free zones. You pay, You can have a guard. We have a military. We have retired military people that would be more than honored to carry a gun and uh, protect schools, protect churches, protect movie theaters. We have freaking military, retired military that could do that and it probably wouldn't cost a whole lot. And you would protect your kids, your elders, us, you protect everybody in the process and you'd probably have a hell of a lot less shootings because you have somebody protecting all gun free zones yes they're still gun free minus one gun so it's a gun free zone but somebody in that building has a gun and you could switch that off between people so nobody actually knows who got the gun every single day. That way, if there, somebody is trying to figure out a way to infiltrate your area and start something, they would be, uh, they wouldn't know who had it. Who has the gun that day? And it, it would, it's just, taking guns away is just absolutely pathetic and stupid. And if you think that's going to help things, you're sadly, sadly, sadly mistaken. Do I feel sorry for people that lose their families in mass shootings? Hell yeah, I do. Hell yeah, I do. It's absolutely sad as can be. And I pray that nobody ever has to deal with that again. We all know it's it's probably going to happen again. It's just, it's just how the world is right now. But you hope that it never happens again. And uh, there's nothing we can do about it. It's going to happen. If you take guns away from people, it's going to happen more. Because no, there's no way to defend yourself now. So more people are, with guns are going to attack more people. Because there's no way you can defend yourself. It doesn't help. It makes things worse. But anyways, guys, uh, give me your honest opinion. Do you agree with me? Do you like some of my ideals I come up with there? Uh, do you not agree with me? Change my mind in the comments section below. Tell me why I'm wrong. Tell me why you think it should be the other way around in the comments. And like I said, in, a, in about a month, or maybe, maybe even less, depending on how fast I get comments. I'm not a big channel, so I might not get very many comments. But just comment down there and tell me your honest opinion and then if I get four or five comments I'll do a part two to this video using you guys' comments and giving my opinion of your comments and going by what your comments say and then uh, we'll go from there we'll go from there guys um, if you guys want me to do some more of these change my mind videos like this because I got a bunch more I want to talk about I'm going to talk about a lot more guys a lot more things are going to become more and more and more on this page i'm trying to get more news for you guys and it's just gonna it's gonna pile on and you're probably gonna get way more videos than you want to get and that's understandable if you don't want to stick around for them you don't want to get that many videos i understand but hopefully you'll stick around and you'll get to know me my family because i'm gonna post a lot more videos summers here so there's gonna be a lot more of my family picture family videos and stuff so hopefully you'll stick around you guys all have a wonderful day